Now, if you're using a Google admin account and you have your users connecting to Google Chrome browsers, it doesn't matter what computer they're using, but if they're signed into Google Chrome, they can actually have policies applied to the Google Chrome browser. So that might be on a Mac, on a Windows machine, or even on a Chromebook or Chromebox. Chrome browser cloud management gives IT powerful management capabilities in the cloud at no additional cost. Is this a Google service or benefit or even necessary for Google Workspace admins? Great question, Graham. So Google gives you built-in Chrome management tools right inside Google Workspace for free. They only let you manage the basics for free, but they do have some pretty interesting and sophisticated tools there, which are very useful for small business owners. Now, if you're using a Google admin account and you have your users connecting to Google Chrome browsers. It doesn't matter what computer they're using, but if they're signed into Google Chrome, they can actually have policies applied to the Google Chrome browser. So that might be on a Mac, on a Windows machine, or even on a Chromebook or Chromebox. And you may decide to create a policy that, for example, sets the homepage on each person's browser. Maybe you decide to create a policy that will set a certain number of bookmarks for each one of your staff members. Maybe you create a policy that says that safe search has to be enabled for everyone's machine. And as soon as somebody signs in to Google Chrome using their business account, automatically any of the policies that you've applied to your business workspace account will be applied to their Chrome browser. Now, if you wanna go a step further, there is also device management capabilities. So if you're using the enterprise version of Google Workspace, there are a number of policies that apply to mobile phones, which you can actually use to manage your devices, being iOS devices or Android devices. If you have Chrome devices, so that would be a Chromebook or a Chromebox, you can purchase a device license and actually manage some of the hardware settings and operating system settings on Chrome-based operating system devices. Now, for free, you get the basic policies in Google Chrome. And are they worthwhile using? I say absolutely yes. Some of the ones that we love to do are to create a common set of bookmarks for a whole team or to set things like the homepage to the company intranet. That'd be a great way of making sure that your team stay connected. And these are all available for free, just out of the box with Google Workspace. If you're interested in locking down more of the device level settings, you need either need to purchase an enterprise plan for Google Workspace or device management licenses for Chrome devices. If you're interested in learning more about those, let me know down in the comments what questions you have and I'll see if I can answer those in an upcoming video. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.